The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien is a fairy tale fantasy book about a hobbit named Bilbo Baggins and his unlikely adventure with Thorin Oakenshield and his company of twelve dwarves, accompanied by the great wizard Gandalf. Hi, I am Sam and I am Luca, and we are going to tell you about how The Hobbit represents the growth of the hero on their hero's journey. We'll tell you about two stages of the hero's journey represented in The Hobbit and how this affects the protagonist Bilbo physically and mentally. The first essential stage of the hero's journey is the status quo, introduced in the opening chapter titled An Unexpected Party. Through Tolkien's skillful use of imagery to describe the setting, readers gain insights into Bilbo's ordinary life. The status quo in The Hobbit, represents, represented by Bilbo's home in the peaceful Shire, where hobbits stay clear of adventures. Tolkien vividly portrays Bilbo's cosy habits such as pipe smoking in his comfortable armchair and sipping warm coffee in the sun. This provides the reader with a glimpse of Bilbo's character before his internal transformation into a hero. Sam, could you please sh now share your thoughts on the next stage? Yes, Luca. The stage that I'll talk about is the trial stage, which is present within the chapter Roast Mutton. In this chapter, Bilbo is put on trial by the dwarves who pressure Bilbo into entering the trolls' campsite in order to retrieve food and fire. This mission, set by the dwarves, takes a lot of courage for, Bil for Bilbo to do, and within accepting it, strengthens Bilbo's character into becoming a hero. Although a small mistake by Bilbo results in the capture of the group. Fortunately, Gandalf comes back in the nick of time and manages to save them from the trolls. After this, Bilbo luckily finds a key on the ground that unlocks the door to the trolls cave where the group finds marvellous high quality elvish blades. That's lucky, isn't it Sam? Yes, Luca, it is. I'm glad you brought that up. The idea of destiny appears a lot throughout The Hobbit. This is significant as it highlights that Bilbo is in fact the chosen one. Bilbo magically finding a key that unlocks the door to the troll's cave is, is a great example of destiny. The first quote from the book, page 51, is, Would this be any good? Also said on page 51 of the book, he held out a largest key with no doubt William had thought it very small and secretive. It must have luckily fallen out of his pocket. The word lucky in this text highlights the theme of destiny which continues through the rest of the book. Luca, can you conclude the video? Before I conclude the video, Check down below and make sure that you're subscribed. According to YouTube, only 3% of you guys watching are subscribed. If you are not, please do because it's free and helps us to keep producing the content that you love. Anyway, back to the video. Today, we have talked about the growth of the hero on their hero's journey by going through two stages of the hero's journey in The Hobbit and talking about the impacts that the experiences had on the hero. The first stage was the status quo, which we discussed how it lets the viewer see the protagonist before they embark upon their journey. And secondly, we talked about the trial stage and the idea of destiny throughout the chapter and the book. We both hoped you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Make sure to check out our other videos below. See ya.